Um, Alice, Alison, John and Yasmin, are there? The floor is now open for questions for any of the previous four speakers. Uh, there's a microphone there, if you like, or speak up very loud, that we can hear it here. Yeah, there's one in the back. Yeah, kia ora. Hi, thank you for that. It's very interesting. Um, I'm Adam Hyde from um, Collaborative Knowledge Foundation. I was wanting to know a couple of things. First of all, um, what existing book production systems are already out there um, that fill out past parts of the workflow? And the other one is uh, which bits are actually missing So, um, for to help you do what you need to do. Sure. Um, so I, I think there probably aren't Thank you. I think there probably aren't very many uh, that are optimized for books in the way that EM for Books is. Um, in terms of what's missing, I think highlighting um, specifically the metadata fields that are important to books workflow. Um, ORCID is another one. I know I mentioned ISBN, but there's there are many metadata fields that will be specific to books workflows that if you just use a basic CMS probably wouldn't be in there. Um, also, the standards bit as well. Um, so, so I think those are the two uh, probably most important elements. Okay, thank you. Are there more questions? It's all been very clear, apparently. Uh, yeah. I have, a, I have a question. What was the title of the hundred twenty-nine thousand dollar open access? Book? <laughs> <laughs> It's probably it. something in archaeology. I don't know. Um, uh, well, you, you, you've seen that the, the range is really wide from 15,000 to 129. And, and, and everyone was talking about that high figure, of course. But um, I guess it's more the, the realistic figure is, is the 25,000 is the realistic one. Maybe it's even a little bit lower. But even if it would be 15,000 or 20,000, it's still a lot of money to fund a book if you want to do it proper full open access and if you don't want to depend on print revenues. I think there's another question. Yeah, so coming from the library side, I'll, I'll bite on that last question. Uh, the challenges of getting libraries to put uh, open access uh, materials in their catalog. So I um, work, for, my name's Jason Price, work for the Skelk Library Consortium. We serve primarily the smaller libraries. Mm -hmm. And so one of the, th uh, um, and we have been asked more and more to invest in producing open access. But given the size of the budgets of those small libraries and the extent to which the small institutions are more teaching institutions than research institutions anyway, they're not really the producers. To me, it makes sense for them to support open access by using the content. And I've been gathering data to convince the group to um, create a collaborative team that can enable libraries to add open access journal content, high quality vetted, good list and automatic lookups, and various other things that technology is now enabling us to do on the journal side. I hadn't thought of it in, in the book context, but I'm very interested in what the, uh, why, it, why it's so hard, what resistance have you come up against, what are the issues? It's, it's actually not very, it's not hard because there are um, means to get the content into the catalogs. For example, the directory of open access books uh, provides um, uh, data flows that you can use as a librarian. The question is what kind of systems are you using? For example, if you use commercial systems, um, they won't have the open access content uh, in their, in their da data. They just won't have it. And then you need to make an extra effort as librarian to uh, find that information and to include it into your library catalog. That, that's, it's just a matter of priority, I would say, for many librarians. Um, uh, building your own collection, it's the open access content is not coming as a first thought. Uh, but for, for researchers to find that content is, uh, is sometimes not very straightforward. You can Google it, of course. Uh, uh, and you can go to the director of open access books and so on, but uh, that's not where you would usually start researching. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. OAPEN, uh, the Directory of Open Access Books is a part of OAPEN. Yeah. Okay. If there are no more questions, then we do a little shuffle here at the table. And we'll go to the next uh, session. You stand, right?